everyone. So after the limitations of Mendeleev periodic law, here we are going to discuss the new law which was given by the Mosley. Just see his picture. So what, what are all things which I am going to discuss here, just see. The first one is the modern periodic law which he has given, right? And the next one is the periodic table which he has created. And the position of all the elements in the modern periodic table and the merits of the modern periodic table, okay? So we will discuss each and everything one by one. So stay with me, okay? Just see. The modern periodic law, the law which we have studied earlier is the Mendeleev's periodic law, okay? And according to that law, the properties of elements are the periodic functions of atomic masses, okay? But he just corrected and modified his law and he said and created the modern periodic law. Properties of elements are the periodic functions of their atomic number, not masses, it's atomic number. So atomic number gives us the number of protons in the nucleus of an atom. As we all know, an atom contains particles, okay? Here is your nucleus and in the nucleus we have protons and outer we have electrons, okay? So, he related the classification of elements with the atomic number. And this atomic number gives you the information of number of protons. Number of protons. So we have to focus on the atomic number. Okay. So let's move ahead. How we are going to represent an element in the periodic table? We need to know that. Okay. So just see here. Elements are there written. It may be any element. I can write X here. Okay. Just see x here okay and on the upper side you can see a written over there and downward it's z here z is going to represent your atomic number and your a is going to represent your atomic mass so here Mosley has told us when I am going to classify the element here I am going to focus on the Z not A okay then he created the skeletal of the modern periodic table when he just placed them on their places with increasing atomic number and when he put all the elements in the individual blocks he just get this periodic table, okay? So, just see how he has arranged all the elements in the respective blocks with increasing atomic number. Just see, hydrogen 1, helium 2, and lithium 3, 4, and this will go on, right? So, this is the picture for your modern periodic table which is based on the increasing atomic number. So, just see, positions of elements in the modern periodic table. How he has decided the positions? As I have told you, by atomic number, okay? So, when he did that, you can see 18 vertical columns, okay? 18 vertical columns like that, and they were called as group and seven horizontal rows. The seven horizontal rows which he has told them periods. The first period is called the shortest period. You need to remember this, okay? The first period will be the shortest period just because it contains only two elements. That is your hydrogen and helium. Thank you.